and my special need is multiple sclerosis. Um, it's called a silent sickness because it's not something that is always easily seen. Um, it's impacted my life a lot, being that I was diagnosed at the age of 19. I was very young, um, you know, it, it made me feel like I didn't have anything to live for, I didn't have a purpose, and so many things went through my mind wondering how I was going to be able to battle this sickness at such a young age. Because in your teenage years or going into your adult life, you want to start working, you want to be able to um, have the same energy as everybody else, go out like everyone else, just be like everyone else. And um, it kind of, you know, made me depressed, um, it caused anxiety. Um, many different negative things in my life. But despite those negative situations, I was still able to look at it uh, with a positive outlook. The ways that I'm able to continue to push forward despite those challenges is keeping my spirituality the first thing in my life that keeps my mind sane and helps me to be able to um, keep pushing forward um, and rely on a source that is powerful to push me through. Um, I'm also able to still write poetry, which I enjoy doing very much. Um, I've also published my first um, collection of poetry last year. Um, I was able to still um, do the things I enjoy, despite the fact that I had this uh, illness or ailment against me. And even if you have a sickness or you have a special needs or a disability, it doesn't make you, um, it, you are different, but it doesn't stop you from doing the things that you enjoy. As long as you stay positive and keep pushing forward, even though it may take longer than other people, you're still able to accomplish it. And I have so many um, things that, um, goals that I have set for myself to be able to accomplish and not to allow it to my sickness or my ailment to um, make me feel like I can't do the things that I enjoy. So I hope that helps you and helps you to feel um, comfortable in your own skin and to realize that just because you have limitations doesn't mean that you can't still be a person.